Well, that oversight board meeting is just about to get started and police present accident reports involving police officers when they meet here about every month. And now the number of accidents is a big concern. An Albuquerque police officer racing to a call last month about a man with a machete hits a car with a six-year-old boy inside, killing him. In March, the Albuquerque Police Department says its officers were involved in 66 crashes. Last year, 300 total crashes. It feels a little outrageous because they're cops. Raising a red flag for people in the community and the police oversight board. You just can't simply make a blanket statement that there's a lot of crashes. So the board is having APD look into the crashes police officers have been in and report back to them how many of those could have been prevented. To compare uh, vehicle crashes for the department with other like-sized departments and other like-situated departments. The Civilian Police Oversight Agency's Executive Director Edward Harness says the board wants to know if the crash numbers are out of line or typical for the size of APD. We're trying to determine whether or not it's a, a serious issue. Obviously, there's a high-profile case right now. That case involving Officer Jonathan McDonald and the little boy who died in the crash on Eubank and Indian School. And as you can see here, there's still a memorial for that little boy on the corner here where the crash happened. And Harness tells me this is not the reason why the board asked APD for the report. They say they want to look into it because they noticed a spike in crashes in March. Not just because of this crash that so many people are talking about. And they're humans. It's, nobody's a perfect driver, even cops. People I spoke with say they're glad the oversight board is looking into the number of crashes. Stand by. And the Oversight Board hopes to have that report from APD next month. The issue could be brought up in the meeting starting in just moments. We're live at Albuquerque City Hall tonight. Justin Matthews, KOAT, Action 7 News.